โอเคนะครับ um, I believe I've shared this uh, lecture already. Okay, so you can find this in our Google Classroom. Um, and um, okay, so the next topic that we are going to talk about is about functions. Okay, functions is probably something that you have heard before. Either in you know non-math related topics, or something that related to programming. I believe you have done some programming previously in uh, previous semester. S but we're going to talk about functions in math, like function in math. So when you talk about functions, you may think about anything else other than. <laughs> probably other than math functions, I okay. have. But when we talk about math functions, you you can you probably think about like function for, say, a, a function for finding a square root of something, function for um, uh, to find the maximum and the minimum. Okay. But in 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 mathematical related topics when we talk about function we will find we will think about something like this okay so when we talk about functions let's say that you have a function f function f it basically means that you are trying to use something that is mapping something to a different thing okay so let's say you have a function f this function is going to link or is going to map every single elements. And let's say you have a function f that is mapping or linked between a set A to set B, okay? So f is going to individually link or map or make a connection from every single elements in set A to some of the elements in set B. Well, I should say to one of the elements in set B or one of the member in set B. Okay, so we kind of like a mapping. That's why we call it map. Map. This is an important word here. Map. See, it's map. Basically, so if you write like a, a, a pictures, let, let me just skip ahead a few slides to give you a better picture. Let's say that you have a function x, I mean a function f that map from a set x to a set y, okay? Uh, you can imagine f as something that will create a link from every members in X, which is, let's say X has X1, X2, X3, X4, that will link to an element or an, a member in set Y, okay? So in this, in this example, I, I use a, an arrow to represent a, a mapping or a link. So let's say X1 is linked or um, is mapped to Y3, so I have a link here that is connected and then pointing from X1 to Y3. Okay, so function basically is something that you map. Okay, so function that is something that you map. Now, the definition of function is going to be important because it will define how you map. So let's say X1 is mapped to Y3 F will be used to determine how X1 is mapped. So in the example, maybe X1 is something, then, then Y3 is something. So it it's mapping from X1 to Y3. So function is similar to relation in the sense that X1 and Y3 has to have some kind of relationship between them in order for them to map to each other or linked to each other, x1 to y3, okay? So in actually function is 
another form of relation. So, okay, we talked about relation in the previous slides. Um, every function is actually a relation. Um, so you can say a function f is basically something that is a relation in the set of a, a function f from a to b is a is a relation of an element or so a members from set a to some of the elements in set b. Okay, so but not every relation is a function. So it's it's like a function is kind of like a subset of relation. Okay. So let me go back to the formal definition of the functions. So the formal definition of a function is something like this. Okay, so let's say you have a function. Usually we denote it with a small letter f, you know, as a function. Let's say f is a function from, let's say, set A to set B. So f is going to be, as I said, actually function is a relation. So in the definition, it's reflecting that. So f is a function from set A to set B is a relation, a relation with the do, with domain A and excuse me co domain B. Uh, I don't remember. Um, just check later. Everyone remember the co uh, domain, the co domain in relation, right? So if you have a set A and a set B. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, it has to, let me share again. Um, oh. Okay, so uh, let, let's say that, um, so in relation you have a domain and a codomain, right? Let's say you have a relation from so they to set B, A will be your domain and B will be your codomain, okay? So function from set A to set B is basically a relation from set A to set B with two properties, two, two properties, okay? So for every element X in A, there is an element Y in B such that the, the order pair x, y is in function f, okay? So this is basically saying that the, the key point here is that for every element x in a, that's the key point. Okay. There is an element y in b such that x, y is in function f. Okay. So this is just saying that every element in set a, has to be mapped or has to be used or has to have a link from, from itself to some person in set B. So for example, let me just draw you a picture of something that you can relate it. Let's say I have a set of, and just um, add another slide. Okay. Let's say that you have a set A. And this one you have X1, X2, X3. And you have set B. You have Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Okay, let's say that you have a function F from A to B. Okay. F definitely is definitely is a relation. But if F is creating or has a relation or um, uh, uh, like make a relation between set A to set B, F is definitely a relation. But uh, in order to be a function, you have to have this, this property that's saying that every element in A, which is X1, X2, X3 in this example, has to have a link to an element in set B, which is Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So basically it's saying this, this one saying that every element's in A, okay? Which means that 
if I have a relation like this, F1 is a function because X1, X2, X3 has a relation to some elements in set B. Okay. However, however, let's say another function, well, not function, but let's say a candidate function. Same x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, y4. However, f2, if defined like this, f2 is f, well, f2 is not a function. F1, well, I, I, I won't say is a function because you have you need to have two properties, but it passed the first property. Pass the first to be function. So you need to have two properties to be to, to be a function. The first one, F1 passed. So basically saying that every members in A has to be used or has to have a link or has to have a related to some element in set B. So F1 passed that. However, F2 is not because as you can see, X1 has a link so to Y1, similar to F1. X2 has a link to Y2, similar again, similar to uh, F1. However, F X3 doesn't have a link, okay? So F2 is definitely not a function because it failed the first function property rule, okay? So that's, that's how it's it. So you have to check this one. So F2 is not, okay? But that's not the only thing that you have to check in order to, to you know, verify that is, is a function or not. The second property saying this, saying that for all the elements X in A and Y in and Z in B, if X, uh, an order pair X, Y is in F and an order pair X, Z is in F, then Y is equal to Z. This is basically saying that every element X in A has to be connected or related to only one element in, in B or in codomain. Okay. So to demonstrate, let me just go back to this one. So let's say A, again, same example, X1, X2, X3, and then you have B. Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So let's say you have F3. Okay. And then you have something like this, X1, X2, and then X3. This is similar to um, F1, right? So which we already said that it passed the first uh, property of being a function. But then this one, this one, Let's say I add another, well, there is another link. Okay. So this one, F3, X1 has only one connection or one related member to uh, in, in B, which is X1, Y1, similar to X2, also related to only Y2 in B. However, X3 is connected or related to two members in B, which is Y2 and Y3. Okay. So for this, F3 is definitely not a function. Because the second property is saying that every one of them that has a link to the, the set B has to have only one link, okay? And in, in the in the slides, in the in, I mean in the definition, it's just saying this. So it's it say this. It say that let's say that you have a 
and you have p and you have only have elements x1 let's say x2 and then y1 y2 y3 x2 related to this and x1 related to this and then let's say f4 so the second or the definition is saying this if f4 is a function okay we start this if f4 is a function it will the the, the situation where x1 is connected to y1 y2 will not happen so it's saying that if x1 is created to y1 and if x1 is also connected to y2 then y1 must be equal to y2 which basically saying that these two member is actually the same i mean it's the same person it's basically y1 and you know what let's say y y special ys it's basically one item in that okay so it's become x1 ys instead of x1 y1 x2 y2 okay doesn't allow a member from domain or set a to connect to two members in set b or the codomain okay. so in order to check if 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 you want to check if a relation is a function, you have to check two things. One, if all members in domain is used. I, I use the word used mean, you know, like it can, it has been used to create a link from set A to set B. Okay stress at the word all members all members okay like this example okay f1 is uh f1 passed the, uh, the the test for property one but f2 doesn't because x3 doesn't have a link okay and the second one is all members must have only i would say connection okay you can you can uh, use a only one relation or only one link okay, basically okay stressed in the word that only one connection okay that's why f3 is not a function Okay, because X3, I mean, F3 is not because, because X3 is connected to two members. Okay, I have uh, any question so far? All right, no question. Keep, just keep going. So some of the definition, uh, domain, uh, codomain. Um, domain is, let's say that F, is a function f is a function from set a to set b okay then we call a as a domain okay so let's say you have a you have b f this one will be domain and this one will be codomain i just shorten it as c Okay, this one's a piece of codomain now. Now there's a different word that uh, also related to codomain, which will be, it will be called image. Okay, or, or uh, sometimes people call it range. Image mean, you know, like um, when you're standing in front of a mirror, okay, imagine this, when you're standing, in front of a mirror and then when you look into a mirror you see your image right right imagine a mirror as a function okay so it kind of link from you which is the actual person and the image which is in the in the mirror okay so 
So mirror is a function, and now it link you, actual person, to the, the to the image inside the mirror. Okay. So that's why we call sometimes we call the codomain or, or or the the set that is the 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 on the right hand side of the link. We call it image. Okay, image. That's why we call it this. Because we think about function as standing right in front of the mirror. Okay. And we sometimes we sometimes call the domain, which is the actual person standing in front of a mirror before he see the uh, image of himself. We call the domain sometimes we call it a pre-image. You can see it makes sense, right? Because image is something that is reflected. Uh, from yourself using a mirror to the mirror and then domain which is the the basically yourself you know standing right in front of the mirror will be called a pre-image okay now uh, as you can see that um, the image or the range is doesn't have to be all the mirror we can say that mi mi the, the all the area of your mirror is your code domain because you know everything that stand right in front of the mirror, anything that is your you, which is the premium, and then reflected into the mirror, which is the the color name, everything is reflected on. But you don't have to use every area of the, the mirror. You should know what I mean. Like you have a, a mirror, you might standing there. So the area that is used is the green one, but the, the one that not used is outside the green one. So image is basically the area where is the green one, okay? Where the actual value happens, okay? For example, for example, let me just add one. <clears throat> okay. Same example, <laughs> a, oop, a, and then we have x1, x2, x3. We have set b, we have y1, y2, y3, and y4. And you have function f, <clears throat> one. Okay, and then you have, let's say, let's change the color. x1, 2, y1, x2, 2, y2, and x3, let's say, to y4. So when I ask, okay, what's the domain of <clears throat> say F1? So the domain, because we say that F1 is a function from set A to set B. This is how we write it <clears throat> to, to tell the reader that there is a function F <clears throat> that is mapping or a function that linked from set A to set B. So the domain of F would be the whole set A. Okay, because F, of course, everything that is uh, in set A has to be used, okay? Because uh, that's uh, the property of our function. And the codomain, and the codomain of F would be set B, because that's the area of a mirror you compare it to the mirror analysis okay but not every area of the mirror are used so the range or the image of f would be something that is actually used which in this case not set b because all the elements in set b are not used so the range or the image would be something like set of y1, set of y2, and then set of y4, okay? Only the elements that are used or only the elements that has a link or has a line from A to B. So every element in B that are used, okay, is, um, is called O.
Sorry. <laughs> one minute, one moment, one moment. Running out of battery. Forgot to charge it. <laughs> okay. Check in. Okay, check in, check in. Okay, okay. Um, any any question? So basically, um, we what we can say is in 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 general, like in general, when you say domain we don't have a problem domain is domain when we, we when we have a function f from a to b domain is set a no problem because all the elements in a will be used all the element in a will, will have a connection to element in b but when when we say about codomain and range or, or image we usually say that codomain is not Necessarily equal to, I'm oh sorry, I handwriting range or, or say the image. Well, so basically, I'm saying that the codomain doesn't necessarily equal to range. Okay, in this example, F1, the codomain is actually bigger than the range or the image. Okay, so the the, uh, the 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 fact that you can get from this is that range or image is actually subset of codomain. So sometimes, sometimes if 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 I don't have, let's say I don't have y three. In this case codomain and range and image will be equal okay because every element in b are used or have a link okay but if we have y3 then codomain will be bigger than image and image will be subset of codomain okay so that's the image that's the range that's the codomain and that's the domain okay, okay. This is a, a graphical representation of the function. We usually write f, as you probably seen earlier. I write function f, a colon, and then domain on the left, and then arrow pointing to the right, and then the codomain on the right. Okay, you can write it in this uh, graphical representation, then uh, using a as a set circle set as a server set and then you have an example of a member of set a let's say a small letter a and then you have an uh, uh, an example of element in set b let's say as uh, a small letter b okay and then you have a link on top to say this is a function f that connected from set a to set b okay you can also write explicitly that like the example down there x to y linked with a function f you can explicitly write x1 is connected to what element x2 what element x3 what element and so on and so forth okay this is a arrow diagram which uh, of course if if the function is not too big you can write something like this but if the function is big like f, f is function from set uh, of integer to set of integer then there's no way you can write everything down right infinite so okay any question no okay now let's just uh have a have a quick look of some of the function and uh, like let's examine uh, the domain codomain and the range okay so let's say that f the first one uh, problem one f is a function from the z set integer set z to the integer set c and let's define f as a function of x square i mean x to the power of three okay so what the question is what's the domain the domain is easy because if you are given the definition uh, 
uh, this part, you can definitely see the domain will be the editor set. Okay. And the codomain is as easy as the domain, which if you have this uh, information, F is from integer set to integer set, codomain will be the integer set as well. Just looking at this uh, definition of function. Okay. Now the range of the image is not as uh, is not as easy as codomain because you cannot always look at the definition of the function and then you can answer it. Sometimes you have to think about. It. In this case, not every because codomain is integer, right? Set of integer, but the range of the image, not every integer will be the it will be used or we have a connection right because this function is f of x is equal to x cubed let's say x is one right let's say this is the c the first c and this is the second c let's say one two three four five six well let's just say one two three and dot 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 okay and then this one two three four five six seven eight and then nine Okay, so let's say that uh, f is a function from integer to integer. So one, of course, one cube is connected to one, right? Okay, so two cube is eight, right? Three cube is 27, which I already lost the space to eight. But as you can see, not every integers in, in, in the code domain is being used, only the one. That is the the cube of another integer. So let's say one eight twenty seven. What is it? Uh, Sixty four and so on and so forth. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna answer this with another set. Okay, using a definition of set. So I'm gonna say range is a set of y, <clears throat> where y is equal to x to the power of three, and x is an integer set. Yeah. So you can pick out x to be one, two, three, four, five, or zero, or minus one, anything. And then the range will come out, okay? The second problem, the second example, let's say that g is a function from the real set, real number set to real number set. Let's define f, uh, g of x is equal to x minus 2. So domain codomain, you probably have seen from the example previously. Uh, this example is easy to find. Domain will be the real number. Codomain will be real number. Now range, the problem you should be asking, uh, the question you should be asking if, if range or image is the same as codomain, because if you can show or if you can explain it's the same you your job is done right just your answer is range here is just the real number but as you can see that in this example uh the value of y let's say uh, i mean the value of g of x which is y right is basically can be anything right we have to check if every integer a codomain has a link from the domain, right? So let's say y is one. Y is one. Is there a link to one? So as you can see, x if x is three, three minus two is one. So y has a connection with three. Okay. So let's say y is zero. X has to be two, right? Because two minus the two equal to zero which is equal to y okay so you can see that oh like how however long you you're trying to substitute an example to see if it works it's always works okay so if you write a let's say a plot of g of x equal to y uh, x minus two let's say g of x is y y equal to x minus two so this graph give you something like this Okay, so y is equal to zero, x is equal to two, x is equal to zero, y is equal to minus two, something like this. Okay, 
as you can see that actually the line is indefinitely can be extended okay so the value of y which is uh, if you make a dot or a line in the graph this is the value of y which you can see the line is keep going keep going so no matter what's the value of y you can always find the value of x for that the last one is the well is the example from the computer computer uh, well a programming function okay so this one Ah, last one, last one, last one. The function foo, f o o, right? Um, the one I'll just cam on it. I'll cam on it again, because uh, this is the programming um, example. Let's say, let's not talk about this one. Ooh. Oh, it's change. Just new share again. Yeah, let's so let's uh, let's skip the third problem. Okay. Um, this is a example. Okay, should we do it? Um, okay, sorry. Um, let's put this into a, a homework. Okay. Well, okay. How many homework? How many problem? Um, okay, let's put this into a homework. Okay, I think we have been out. Oh, well. Let's do A, B, and C. Let's say if we can. All right, let's do A, B, and C. Okay. So let's say that X, X, okay, is the set one, three, and five. Okay. And then, um, and then Y is the set um s t u and v okay and f is a function that map from set x to set y as the following diagram show here okay so you can see one is mapping to v three is mapping to s five is mapped to v okay so this is the function which if we check oh okay all the elements in X is used or has a connection. So it's past the first properties of the function. Then there is no element in X that pointing into on into two different elements in Y. So that's the second property. So F is basically a function, okay, but that's not the question they ask. They ask what's the domain of F and what's the codomain of F. So this one is easy, right? Because if we can see the definition, 
the definition states that f is a function from x to y. So the domain of x, of I mean of f is x, and the codomains of y, uh, codomains of f is y. Let's see here. Uh, B, can you find F1, F3, and F5? So F1 is basically, um, if we substitute F with one, what you get is the devel in, in uh, set Y, which has the link to number one in X. So F1 would be equal to V, F, Three to be equal to S M F U V V E. Okay. Next, uh, what is the range of F? So, the range is basically a set or a, a subset of set Y. So, not every Y is this one. So, I'll just write as a subset. So, S and V is a range for f, okay? So basically anything that I use, actually, in this case, y uh, for set y, only s and v are used, okay? This is gonna skip d, e, and f, maybe it's, you can do that. I'll, I'll add it into your homework next week. I mean, this week. Any any questions so far? So basically, up to now, you know um, how to check if a relation is a function, what's a function, and how to check. And you know about the, the, uh, the relation to relation and function. So all functions are relation because Function is basically a relation with two properties. Okay. So every function is a relation, but not every relation are a function. Okay. So not quite versa. So now we learn about domain, uh, codomain, image, and range, and pre image. Okay. All right. And Next is another property of a function. Okay. So if you have a function, okay, we call that function a one-to-one -one function if it has the following properties. Okay. Any function can be a one-to-one -one function. It has to have a, a definition by uh, properties to be able to become a one-to-one -one function, okay? So what definition five say? Let's say f is a function from a to b, and then let's suppose that f is a one-to-one -one function, which sometimes they call it inject t, okay, inject t. f is a function one-to-one, -one, if and only if, for all x, y in the domain set A, if f of x is equal to f of y, then x is equal to y. Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean, actually? So basically, any function, if it's going to become one to one, it ha you have to be able to show that for every members in A, Ooh, sorry. Can I down here? And you have to be able to show that for every function that's going to be a one to one, you have to be able to show that for every members of set A. If f of x is equal to f of y, then x is equal to y. It's basically saying this. So, um, so let's say again, set A, set B, 
x1 is 2x3, y1, y2, y3, y1, 4. Okay. F is a function from A to B. Okay, let's say that x is related to y1, x2 is related to y2, x3 is related to y4. So is this f function? Yeah, f is definitely function. It has, well, it, it has the, the property that all the x has are used have no link to one members of a into one of c. But, 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 let's say that, um, how do I copy this? Oh, okay. Cool. Let's say that, um, let's say that uh, we have F2, just copy it. And then we have, so instead of X3 linked to Y4, let's say that X3 is linked to Y2, okay? So is F2 still function? Yes, it is. F2 is still function. It is still a function. Okay. But it's not. But F2 is not one to one. Because in one to one, you have every by the definition it's saying what it's saying that every function i mean every elements in b but well not the definition but i mean basically is saying that every elements in b has to only have one connection from an element in a basically so f2 is function but it's not one to one why because x2 and x3 are linked to y2 so it's not one to one. It's there's this x one and x three. I mean x two and x three that are linked to the same uh, member in in y in b. Okay, so it's not. So in definition, it just mean that. Just mean that. Let's say that you have a and b. And you have x one and two three. You have y one and y two. And you have this x is x is connected to y1, x is connected to y2. It's just saying that if f3, f3 is a function, then x1 and x2 need to, I'm oh, sorry, not, not a function. Actually, it is a one two, one, function. Well, it's already a function. I don't, I just want to check if it's a one-to-one -one function. So if F3 is going to be one-to-one -one function, the X1 and X2 has to be the same person or has to be the same thing. So basically, these one has to be this, just one. So if the left-hand side, X1, X2 is just one, it will connect one element in A, one element in B, which is Y. Okay. So it's still one to one. It's still function. Okay. So in order not now. So in, in order to check one to one, we are going to use this this uh, 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 properties that say X Y is in set A then f of x equal to f of y, then if f is a one-to-one uh, -one function, f has to be equal to y, okay? Well, I, I should use the same uh, system as the example here, okay? So let's say f of x1 equal to f of x2, then if f is a one-to-one, -one, then x1 must be equal to x2. Okay. 
This is a one-to-one -one function. Let's see some examples. Or uh, a, a bit of a, a um, uh, heads up. Okay. So in order to show if f is a one-to-one -one function, it's quite difficult. Uh, if you want to show if it's a false statement, like say f is not a one-to-one, -one, then it's easy. Just find one false example, then you are okay. You, you can answer that f is not a function. I mean, f is not one-to-one. -one. Okay, if you want to show if it's false or it's not. But if you want to show that it's a one-to-one -one function, you have to make sure that you really show that every single one of the elements in A is a is you know is linked to just one of the okay so or use this use this property or let's say let, let's check let, let, let's see an example let's say f is a function okay from say um from r to r Okay, f is a function from set r to r, okay. which mean which mean that it's linked or it's connected from to, uh, from the real number set to the real number set, okay. and then define it f as f of x is equal to x plus one. Question: Is f a one-to-one -one function? How do we check? Okay, how do we check? We do like this. Okay, we, we do like this. Well, we use the definition of a function. The definition of a one to one function. Definition of one to one. The definition of one to one function saying that, uh, if 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 f I'll just repeat again if f is one two okay I should say this first let's say define f is a function from a to b if f is one two one and f of x equal to f of y where x and y are any elements in a of i mean elements in yeah elements in a then x must be equal to y okay okay we're going to use this definition so this one say f okay so Problem. f is a function from real number to real number f of x is equal to x plus y so what we have to do is we have to imagine let's say that you, you, you imagine that okay we know that the domain is this domain is this and the property is saying that every f of x and every y that have f of x equal to x. every x and y that have f of x equal to y, we have to show that x equal to y. So you have to imagine that for, let's say, you have to imagine that. Let x, y be a member of the domain, the domain, which is r. Okay, so x, y, b, any real number, anything. You can think of any real number R, right? Anything. Then let's suppose that 
f of x is equal to f of y. Suppose that you know, just say that. Okay, let's suppose f of x is equal to f of y. Your job is your task is to make sure. Or to I, I should say to to determine if x is equal to y using the definition of f. Okay, your task is to to check if x is equal to y using the definition of f given earlier. So, is is that true? I mean, yeah. Okay, what we do is. Because uh, we say x1 is y being in So let's say f of x is equal to f of y. Now we know that the property of f is this. f of x equal to x plus 1. So on the left-hand side, you get x plus 1, right? Right, because f of x equal to x plus 1. Similarly, f of y will be equal to y plus 1, right, by the definition of f. Right, just basically substitute x and y into that uh, definition of f, which is equal to x plus one. So you get what do you get? X equal to y, right? So these just show me that if f of x is equal to, equal to f of y for any x y that is in the domain, okay, using the definition of f, I can conclude that x equal to y, which doesn't show that f is one two one okay that doesn't because of you know like because of the definition and just one more example maybe maybe um the second one okay second one g okay let me trace that to so let's say let's say t is a function from integer to integer g of x equal to x squared now our job is to check if g is one to one okay now, how do we check? We use we are going to use a definition of one to one. Well, basically, um, uh, you, as as I said earlier, if you want to check if it's not or if it's false, basically, like if it's not one to one, all you have to do is to find one example. Just one example that show that f of x equal to f of y and x is not equal to one. By that means that for, for the example for, for the, the for the g one, okay. you have to find that g of x equal to g of y and then x is not equal to y so in this example i can think of one example that definitely works in this uh, not case so i can say that actually uh, i can say that f of one is actually equal to what one square which is equal to one which is actually equal to oh not not F sorry g g of one equal to one square it's equal to one, which is definitely equal to g of minus one, right? Which is minus one square, which is equal to one. So basically, g of one equal to g of minus one, but one is not equal to minus one. So this case, this case, just show that g doesn't have the property for one to one function. So we can say that, okay, G is not one to one. Okay, 
So in order to show that it's not, it's easy, just find an example, okay? Then if you find one example that is in, in like similar like this, then yes, it's not. Looking back, okay, looking back, maybe in this example for F, we can maybe try to find something that is, is that, that show that it's not, okay? Let's say X is one and minus one. But if you substitute x on one and then y is minus one, x one plus one is equal to two. So let's say f is one, which is equal to two, f is minus one, which is also equal to well, which is equal to zero. So f one is not equal to f minus one. So you have to buy a two numbers that if you pass on to f, it's equal, but these two numbers are not equal. Yeah, you can try to find it. If you try to substitute it and you cannot find it, maybe there's a chance that it's a one to one. Then you can try and do this method. Okay. You don't have to start using this method if you're not sure it's because it's easier to prove it's not. Okay. Just keep one example and you're done. But it's a bit harder, especially more complicated function. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go park here. Uh, I'm video to record a column. เช็คชื่อออกนะครับอ่าเช็คชื่อออกเนาะใครที่เช็คชื่อแล้วก็เชิญครับเจอกันวันอ่าวันจันทร์เนาะยังไม่มีเมคอัพคาร์ดเนา